Here's a quick and easy way to set up data highlighting so that your website does better in Google search for the categories and the content you've already got. This is a simpler way of setting up structured tags in Webmaster Tools that requires no technical knowledge whatsoever. <clears throat> Let's start by going into Google's Webmaster Tools, which you can find here at uh, google.com slash webmaster slash tools. What you want to do is find your website. There's ChristopherSPatton.com, and you're going to go into Search Appearance. Normally, in structured data, you would set up the tags and stuff with code here, but for people who are not coders or people who just have a, a fairly straightforward website like a blog, like mine, Data Highlighter is the way to go. So we'll click on Data Highlighter, <clears throat> ignore the video. We are going to highlight articles because this is a blog. Make sure we tag this page and other pages just like it. And let's go, it's going to ask you for a typical URL. So let's go to the site and pick up just one blog post. Here we go. Copy that URL, paste it in. Okay, so first things first, we want to set, uh, figure out what we have on our site for tags and categories and all that wonderful stuff. We will start with the title, the author, the date published, and let it auto detect that. And if you have categories and things set up, then you'd want to do that. In the meantime, if you don't, we'll set the image here. And that's good for this uh, this first post. We're going to hit done. And we'll just call this blog posts. And we're going to let it's got it's detecting these. So now we're going to verify there's the title, there's the author, there's the image that looks good. Google's going to have us do up to five random pages to make sure that we've got it's it's seeing everything we want it to see. So there's our imagery that looks good. Let's go to the next page. There's our title. Isolating the image. Hit next. And it says, have a quick look at a random sampling. If it looks good, then go ahead and hit publish. You need to hit publish and that page set is now available. What this does is it allows Google to identify pages and tag them and categorize them based on what it thinks your site structure looks like. This is a an important part of on-site SEO, and it's one that's neglected because previously you had to use the structured data selection, which is, um, to put it mildly, not exactly all that uh, easy to use. You should see uh, these numbers here in, in the markups go down as you, now that you've defined these categories. And of course, your site will do slightly better in search. Now, it's important to say this is not a cure-all. This is not going to you know magically make your site leap up to number one in the search rankings by any means for anything. Uh, but it will give Google a better idea of how to categorize the content on your site, how to better get you listed for certain keywords, uh, and how to possibly uh, slightly, very, very slightly improve your rankings. So make sure that you are using this feature. It's very simple to use as you just saw. It does not require a whole lot of technical experience and uh, and, and see how, if it positively impacts your website. Give it a try. Thanks for watching and of course you can find more information like this on my blog at ChristopherSPen.com.